This is the CNN New York Times Democratic presidential debate. Sometimes there are issues that are bigger than politics, and I think that's the case with this impeachment inquiry. Uh, in my judgment, Trump is the most corrupt president in the history of this country. He has committed crimes in plain sight, and he has consistently, since he won, been selling out the American people. He's been selling out working people. He's been selling out our values. He's been selling out national security. And on this issue with Ukraine, he has been selling out our democracy. If it's not okay for a president's family to be involved in foreign businesses, why was it okay for your son when you were vice president? Vice President Biden? Look, uh, my son did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. Rudy Giuliani, the president, and his thugs have already proven that they, in fact, are flat lying. Your son, Hunter, today gave an interview, admitted that he made a mistake and showed poor judgment by serving on the, the, that board in Ukraine. Did you make a mistake by letting him? You were the point person on Ukraine at, no. at the time. If you, you can answer. Look, my son's statement speaks for itself. My son made a judgment. I'm proud of the judgment he made. I'm proud of what he had to say. And let's focus on this. The fact of the matter is that this is about Trump's corruption. You have not specified how you're going to pay for the most expensive plan, Medicare for all. Will you raise taxes? Costs will go up for the wealthy. They will go up for big corporations and for middle class families. They will go down. I will not sign a bill into law that does not lower costs for middle class families. Your signature, Senator, is to have a plan for everything except this. No plan has been laid out to explain how a multi-trillion dollar hole in this Medicare for All plan that Senator Warren is putting forward is supposed to get filled in. At least Bernie's being honest here and saying how he's going to pay for this and that taxes are going to go up. And I'm sorry, Elizabeth, but you have not said that. And I'm tired of hearing whenever I say these things, oh, it's Republican talking points. You are making Republican talking points right now in this room by coming out for a plan that's going to do that. I think we need to be focused on lifting people up. And sometimes I think that Senator Warren is, is more focused on being punitive or, or pitting some part of the country against the other. Um, instead of lifting people up and making sure that this country comes together I'm really shocked at the notion that anyone thinks I'm punitive. Uh, look, I don't have a beef with billionaires. Does there need to be bipartisan support? Well, Anderson, this is my first time on this stage, so I just want to start by reminding everybody that every candidate here is more decent, more coherent, and more patriotic than the criminal in the White House. This is the sixth debate we have had in this presidential cycle and not nearly one word with all of these discussions about health care on women's access to reproductive health care, which is under full on attack in America today. Women are the majority of the population in this country. People need to keep their hands off of women's bodies and let women make the decisions about their own lives. Thank you, Senator. And let's talk Thank about you, Senator.